Hello, everyone. This is the headiest miner at here, at your service. Today, I'm doing a voiceover to one of my videos that I guess didn't record. We'll be talking about the E9 Pro. Now, this miner is a beast, but there's one issue that I have not found any YouTubers giving information about, trying to help anybody about. So, this is it, the E9 Pro. It's a pretty good miner, 3600 mega hash, 2200 watts. <clears throat> but when I got it, it's giving me a 50% rejection rate to the pool. And you're like, okay, 50%, that's a lot. Because now it's basically just the E9. So I was only getting 2 giga hash on the pool. Although in the web GUI, it's giving me, it's giving me 3,680, if not 4,000 4, mega hash. So it's very concerning to be a first time bitmain buyer going through customs paying thousand dollars for customs on top of 300 shipping so it ended up costing me forty eight hundred dollars for this mining rig plus two hundred dollars to ship it back for repair in order for them to send me a new one so i spent five thousand dollars on this crypto miner and i'm still waiting on it for bitmain but the issue was, no matter what I did, you know, the TF service pack upgrade plus the firmware download for ETC, and I mined on two miners, F2 pool, K1 pool, solo mining, regular mining. I didn't try ETH, ETH hash, just ETC hash. As you can see, it was getting 4,700 mega hash at that time. 3,700 real or average. So, the, but a 50% pull rejection rate, you know, for 10 hours here. Just look at this ridiculous losing all that money. And now I even ran it on solo mining. That did not work out. I did not hit one block in five days. I don't know if it was my rejected shares or what, but I could not hit a block. I wasted seven or five days on solo mining. Here's another one. Another time I tried doing the new upgrade release. Still 51%, no matter what I tried. Difficult thing is ordering this thing in March, having to wait until the end of April for them to ship it. Gets here May 3rd, you know, and then instantly has 50% pull rejection rate. And then I get, I have tried to troubleshoot for a week, talk to customer service. They didn't. They're literally the first thing they sent me was the last thing we ended up having to do. So they knew they knew what was going on that need to repair. And they just they just wanted me to just try it out first, make it work. Here's F2 pool, see 50% rejection rate. I didn't leave it on there. That pool, I switched it over. So. What do you do to try to fix this issue? Well, you have to go to Bitmain, bitmain.com, and go to customer support. Here's the firmware download. Let's see, pick the mining rig you got, got ETC, ETH, your service card, and the firmware. I recommend doing the TF card service pack on the S micro SD card first. I'm sure, you come plenty of tutorials on how to do that. And then you also want to do the firmware because two miners, of course, 
deal. You need the firmware. Bitmain actually said you need the TF card service pack and the firmware, both of them, to make it work. And if it doesn't work, you have to send it back because there's a problem with the hashing boards and however they configured it to mine ETC over ETH, ETH, ETC hash. So if you do, you go into their site, you do the TF car service pack to the micro SD to your ASIC, then you and there's red pin of mining over here. But then you go to firmware. Shout out to red pin of mining for getting me started on GPU mining. Ultimately making me a lot of money. Just from three GPU rigs. But, you know, now, they, now we got bigger things. Anyway, here's the email they got to the link they sent me. The E9 rejection rate is very high. Why does it do 50 or 100%? Says there is arithmetic power that maybe a computing board failure. You can reinsert the platoon to return to factory settings or upgrade the firmware and other routine operations to try. If not, most of them need to return to repair. <clears throat> you know, and definitely make sure you do the you download the ETC or ETH firmware based on what you want to mine because that'll make a big difference but that'll make that'll give you a hundred percent rejection rate and then only doing the tf service card pack will give you also won't connect to the pool give you a hundred percent pool rejection rate as well so i ultimately had to send it back to the delaware location I have messages from them saying they don't know what to do yet. They haven't repaired many of these since it's such a new ASIC. That they are going to recommend that Bitmain just send me a new one. Hopefully it's working. But they should cover me with a, with a coupon for shipping cost. You know, it did cost me $200 with insurance. Maybe they'll give me a $100 coupon, but... What can I buy from Bitbang for a hundred dollars? You know, who I can put it to my next ASIC. But see all the fifty percent pull rejection rates. Yeah, so problem solved. I end up having just to send it back, send it back to Bitbang, and I'm still waiting for them to complete my repair ticket. Now it's Memorial Day weekend. Happy Memorial Day. I have to probably wait till Tuesday for them to even, hey, we're going to send it out this week. You know, by then it'll be June. Maybe I lost a whole month's profit, 300 you know. Well, I guess it's not that much now. Like $100 profit, $200 profit. But still, profit's profit. I'm trying to get trying to get this money, you know, spent 5 k on it, my... You know, 5k profit already, some ROI is already there, so I'm not too worried about ROI. But I do want to stack more mining rigs. I want to get on a system, you know, where I can just sell my crypto mining and just buy another rig, buy another rig, buy another rig until I max out the power in my apartment. Because I am home mining, I only have one 240 volt plug. You know, I have a, the rest are, you know, the rest are, what, one, what, 120 volt? So, definitely got to, definitely don't have much room for power in A6. But I end up having to do this DOA process, since, since you know, brand new ASIC just got it within 30 days. I was able to send it back. It's supposed to send me a new one. The repair people were under the impression that they're that I should that they're going to repair it and send it back. 
but but then they said I have to tell customer service that I need a new one, which I mean, according to their site, they're supposed to send me a new one, you know, as soon as possible, because this is a big inconvenience, you know. See, we will send you a new working replacement. So I guess I'm on this last stage, number four. Receive a new replacement. You, we will send you a new working replacement ASAP. So it'll probably be from China. Do they even have any E9 Pros to spare? Hopefully they have a little back stock for this situation. Since, since I'm sure they've sent out a lot that don't work. But still... <laughs> Yeah, so I can only run maybe two of these E9 Pros out of out of my dryer, out of the dryer dryer plug, with 30 amp, 240 volt. And then I just have you know 120 volts out around the house, and that's it. So you know what am I supposed to do? Just buy two, you know, two Asics, and then a bunch of little iPolos and have. <laughs> Have every plug in the house, you know, four iPolos just to get get my hash rate up, or just or just figure out a way to figure out a way. <laughs> there are there are three two forty volts in this apartment, but one goes to the furnace, one goes to the AC, and one goes to the dryer. Uh, there's a fourth one that goes to the range, you know, the stove. But my wife's not gonna let me hook up from the dryer from the, the stove plug, you know, and like have the ASIC in the kitchen. How safe is it either to run a you know a 240 volt extension, you know, about 20 feet, just uh. Just, uh, just to be able to run it two more in the laundry room, you know, from the kitchen. Is it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. I would definitely do that. So that's definitely a consideration. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. Just thought I'd do this video. This is my old channel. I uh, decided to change my name and everything. So it, just change it up. Definitely had to soup it up. And Thanks for tuning in. Problem solved. This is the headiest miner. Stay heady, stay crypto, stay mining. Peace out.